Welcome to episode 16 of Building Blocks with Brennan. Today we have a little bit of a different episode. Uh, as you can see, or maybe as the title will say, uh, there's no guest today. It's just me. What we're talking about today is really first doing a little bit of deep dive of who I am, my story, what makes me interesting. At the same time, is really what is this podcast all about? How you can get involved, how you can you know, invite someone to be a guest. If you know someone who you think would be a great guest, how you can reach out, drop their name so I can reach out. But most importantly, really why we, what is building blocks what is the future and why you should listen so to start off i'm brendan herjavac um my background primarily within sales working with a bunch of different startups doing my uh, undergrad within the kw region Sil- silicon valley of the north i've had a chance to speak with work with many founders from you know organizations that failed organizations that were sold to google organizations that were hundreds of millions and everything in between, and I've had the opportunity to work uh, work work with many of them along the way. Uh, at, if you've listened to this podcast before, you probably also know why I did my MBA uh, at UBC. And one of the reasons for choosing UBC, and if anyone's interested in, in doing an MBA, I'm a big fan of it. I'm always happy to chat about it. You can always reach out if you're interested in my views on education or really really the benefits I've seen from it. But one of the reasons I also did uh, my MBA. And why I went to UBC it really ties into doing this podcast as well. And that's the idea of really becoming an expert at as many different things as possible. Um, I, growing up, was always a generalist. I always thought, ah, shucks, I wish I was more specific. You know, I was always told, you're, you're not going to be get, you're not going to get paid for what you're good at. You're only get paid for what you're great at. So you have to be great at one thing and one thing only. And that was really hard for me. I had a lot of different interests, a lot of different things I wanted to focus on. And being told that I, could only, I had to focus on one thing when nothing really stood out to me as being my cup of tea or my main focus and I could drill my life into was quite upsetting. And in fact, one of the books that changed my mind, if you're watching on YouTube, this, uh, this is a little more exciting than if you're listening, but Range. Uh, how generalists triumph and that was one book that was recommended for me uh early on actually this year and i got a chance to read it all these books behind me are what i'm reading this year and i'll probably do an update video in the coming weeks about my reading recommendations so yeah being a generalist and this is why this building blocks is uh, it's all connect soon uh really decide to get an mba to be more of a generalist but really ubc because they focus on creativity and i really felt creativity was one of the things i could really excel at more uh, and also have to do uh, have to bring up the, one of the main reasons i don't know if you see on my shirt if you're watching on youtube uh skiing i always wanted to move to vancouver as a child and i thought what a great time move out west live that lifestyle live that granola lifestyle get this ski i didn't know though that with an mba a lot of schoolwork not a lot of time to go skiing every weekend uh, especially with group assignments and that's the only time everyone's free on the weekend so although that was the case, I did get to go out there and, and live my, uh, you could say, youthful dreams for a little bit. Then uh, with everything else, COVID happens. So COVID's happening. Going to doing an undergrad in business and doing a master's in business and working in sales, one thing always occurred, and that is coffee chats. You're always chatting, eating, drinking coffee, chatting, chatting, chatting. Boom, COVID happens. Who can I chat with? No one. I was like, oh, shucks. I really want to keep up this skill. Me being such a generalist, I find great interest in the most random of things. And that is not more apparent than me spending three months in Japan in a bonsai nursery. Now, if you look at my resume, it's on top of my resume. That is, depending on who you're talking to, a unique selling feature, or people think I'm a gardener. And a funny story that really connects to who I am as a person is a interview I had. And that is when I, you know, I'm talking to an individual. They, they, you know, they call me and they say, Brendan, this resume was concerning. We were not sure if we were going to give you a call back. And I was like, oh, you know, oh, sir, wh- why was that? And they said, you were at a bonsai nursery. We thought, why were you applying to this operations job if you, you know, if you live in Japan and, and worked with, with trees? And I was like, well, that's, if you read it, uh, you'd see it was just a unique experience. Got to spend some time in Japan, work for one of the, I think is probably now considered the best, you know, bonsai practitioner today, uh, currently doing work, um, and got really to learn about a culture and a traditional bi- you know, business firsthand. And before I kind of finish the story is one of the interesting parts of it. I was the only one there who didn't have bonsai as a business. I was there purely as a hobbyist. When you're in the hobby, just learning what the heck it is. 
And I had people there who committed their life to it. So learning on a very steep curve, which is very similar to uh, the sink or swim mentality when it comes to sales. Um, but yeah, back to the interview. Having this interview and they're like, oh, this is you know very unique. We didn't know what to do. So I had to, I had to talk to my manager about it. I showed it to him to get his opinion. And I'm like, what did he say? And he's, well, my manager liked it. So I showed my director. My director didn't like it. But then we brought it up in our staff meeting. And it was about 50-50. And then the VP looked at it. And he thought it was unique. So then these, the, this goes on for quite a while. And at the same time, I learned very quickly in that job. I actually couldn't get the job. This was during my MBA. The internship was eight months. We were, we were only allowed a three-month internship. So this interview is going on for 30 minutes now. We're just talking about my resume. And then at the end of the day, I just responded, well, it worked. I'm here for an interview. And at the same time, the whole company knows me. So I guess it did work quite well. And the guy, and the guy was like, and the guy said, huh, I guess you're right. And that little story, that little side really describes how, how I view what I want to learn with my life and really how, how I see myself going forward. And that's the ability to really become an expert in many different things, become a generous, but know a little bit about a lot. And that is one of the very true things about me. Uh, Having a very unique, you know, I guess being a good conversationalist, knowing a little bit about many different things, but that really ties into why I started this podcast as well. And this is where it all comes together was with COVID, uh, really trying to keep up with the coffee chats. And I mean, typically I could record, I don't have to record these. I could do them offline, but I was truly interested in these people's stories and really how they came to, you know, came to where they were today. Being within the entrepreneurship world, I really felt that you typically only hear the stories of people who are hyper successful and looking back on their past. And a lot of times that's not really relevant to if you're trying to start an organization today, whether it be how the industry works, what, how social media is in, integrated or, or inter intertwined with everything we do today, or in fact, how the heck you can start a business and keep it growing today. How can you raise that first series of funding? So you have building blocks legitimately within the name as well, being how they're building or putting together the blocks. You can think of baby blocks, you know, when you're trying to build a tower or you see how children build towers or just anything in regards to building, how they can build the foundation to really create the organizations of tomorrow, which will be those billion dollars, those larger IPOs or highly successful people who are, you know, in the Olympics playing for professional sports and how they got there while they're still in it. And I felt those stories were genuinely interesting, not only to me, but to many different people. And when it came to COVID as well, learning to speak online, I thought was a highly valuable skill that most people weren't very aware of. You know, oh, everyone always speaks of writing skills, presentation skills, highly important. I, I would say my, I'm by far a better presenter. I would say in large, especially within a large group of people that I am writing by all means. And that's really, if anyone knew me from school, that's really where I put all my eggs in that basket. Um, but that being able to develop a really good conversational style, especially online, was highly important and a way to keep those coffee chats connecting, you know, keep keep those rolling, keeping those conversations and sharing them with the you know with the rest of people. I thought it'd be quite interesting people, um, you know, I'd always tell stories of people. This is just a different way to do it through the power of the Internet. So what really is building blocks? And the description describes it well is the trying to define what is the secret to success or what are the building blocks to having success, whether you're a you know, high functioning individual, a successful athlete, a successful business, you know, business person, a founder, and really what are your keys to success and how your story got there. And one of the things we, you know, from these past 15 episodes was that there's even consistencies. A lot of people tend to have very thing, you know, a lot of things similar. And especially the, if you're listening to a few of them, you can pick up a few things that are consistent that might apply to you. One of the things that keeps coming up, and I had no idea how important this was, was journaling. A lot of people speaking about journaling as an effective way to not only for their mental health, but also for keeping track of ideas and really keeping motivation. Motivation is one of the biggest things, no matter what you're doing in life. So figuring out better ways to maintain motivation is highly important. So that was really the idea behind building blocks, but where we really, the plan is for going forward is really continue connecting with unique individuals. I mean, there are thousands of small businesses around the world and I'm really, and I'm expanding, I'm trying to connect with other individuals in different countries as we quickly learn that there's different ways of doing business. Um, connecting with, you know, one of my early podcasts with people in Australia, although you would think it's the same thing, you know, Canada, Australia, similar population, it would be the same very dramatically different. So trying to share a lot of unique people's stories that I also, like I said before, find truly interesting. 
going forward, we're going to have m- many unique individuals. I have a few guests lined up that I am truly excited for. Uh, a lot of these people also I'll have on podcast. I would have bought, you know, I'm buying their products. I'm a big fan of them. So really it is on that level of uh, a lot of these people I would know, you know, I've made, pro- made men in the past, maybe just reached out online or currently interested in their business that I wanted to just take a deep dive into. And hopefully uh, people listening to this can learn a bit more about their products, their methodologies, but also unique people who are starting the businesses that will shape the days of tomorrow. And how, you know, if, if you know anyone who'd be interested in, you know, hopping on the podcast, if you think I should reach out to someone that you'd find interesting of hearing their story, drop it in the comments, you know, send me an email. My email's on my website, uh, just, you know, beheardfactgmail.com, you know, pretty basic email. Uh, and I'll be happy to reach out and reconnect really with those individuals. The idea is really trying to figure out, like I said before, how are things being built and the ideas of these individuals behind them. And really hearing people's stories is so interesting because you can meet someone in their early 20s who's a founder thinking, oh, they're new, they don't know much, but they have 10 years of experience, whether it be in the industry, whether they're working on that new product. And a lot of times these industries of the future are only a few years old. So no matter how many years of experience you have, everyone's new to it. So a lot of times these younger businesses, which at first might, you might not think of much, could be re- revolutionizing industries years from now, especially when looking at the food industry. All these IPOs recently, so interesting, so unique, and you would never think food would be the hottest thing uh, aside from tech these days, but that's what it is. So this was a shorter episode, just connect more about me. Hear a little bit about my story. I'll probably in the future have a little bit more of these uh, solo episodes, probably more folks around individual topics, individual ideas, maybe weekly updates, or if there's big news around certain topics, I'll probably have a few of, uh, uh, maybe some other co-hosts to help on to really have some more debates about these hot button topics when they come out, but primarily also focusing on a lot of guests. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying these past few episodes. Please subscribe on the YouTubes, or if you're listening, drop a comment if you like it, you know, follow as well, just so you can keep up, up to date with some of these unique people I have coming up around the world of AI, uh, crypto, um, and many different other unique things as well, and especially and a lot around branding as well, branding being very popular. Um, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed these episodes. Hopefully you guys continue listening for future episodes, and hopefully you learn a little bit more about me and really what building blocks is.